So you walk into work one day thinking everything is fine, but little did you know about the hidden dangers lurking beneath the surface at your workplace. It could be an unsteady ladder, a chemical stored improperly, or a frayed cord waiting to spark disaster. Workplace hazards are silent threats, and ignoring them isn't just a risk, it's a gamble with lives. Staying ahead of these dangers requires more than hope, it demands action. The secret to a safe and healthy workplace is proactively identifying hazards and assessing risks before they strike. Let's break down the steps that are extremely important for proper hazard identification and risk assessment according to OSHA. Step 1 is hazard identification. Workplace injuries and illnesses don't happen by chance. They often stem from a failure to spot hazards or anticipate risks that could have been prevented. Hazard identification and risk assessment form the backbone of any effective safety and health program. This isn't about reacting after an incident, it's about staying vigilant and proactive every single day. Employers and workers must work together to uncover potential dangers, whether they're obvious or hidden. Building a culture of awareness, hazards can be addressed before they turn into costly mistakes or worse, life-threatening events. Step 2 is gathering the data. A comprehensive approach begins with collecting existing information about workplace hazards, equipment manuals, safety data sheets, inspection reports, and even records of previous injuries all offer clues about what's going wrong or what could go wrong. Recognizing patterns in injuries or illnesses is like solving a puzzle. It reveals trends that demand immediate attention. External sources such as OSHA guidelines, trade associations, and worker advocacy groups also provide valuable insights. Once you have gathered the data about the potential hazards, include them in your daily safety toolbox talks. Use Safely AO to create and schedule these talks weeks and months in advance, so your team will be consistently reminded of the job hazards and safety protocols. You can even use Safely AO's Toolbox Talk Library that comes with hundreds of text-based and video-based toolbox talks that covers any industry. This Toolbox Talk app makes it easy for your employees and supervisors to consume safety talks from their own mobile devices and acknowledge its completion at the click of a button. All completed safety talks are tracked and available. The data can be exported and available for use. To get a quick demo, just click the link in the description of this video. The thing is, knowledge is power, and the more information gathered consistently shared with your team, the better prepared and safe a workplace will be. Step 3 is regular inspections, which is an effective preventative measure. Hazards don't stay static. Over time, workstations shift, equipment wears out, and maintenance gets overlooked. Regular inspections are the heartbeat of a proactive safety program. Walking through every corner of the workplace, examining tools, processes, and even storage areas helps identify issues before they escalate. Involving workers in these inspections is critical. They're often the first to notice when something feels off or unsafe. Documenting the findings ensures nothing slips through the cracks, and photographs or videos can spark productive discussions about solutions. Step four is identifying the unseen dangers or health hazards. Some hazards aren't visible to the naked eye. Chemical exposures, excessive noise, or even repetitive motions can silently wreak havoc on workers' health. Health hazards require specialized attention because they often don't have immediate symptoms. Reviewing safety data sheets, monitoring exposure levels, and assessing ergonomic risks are all vital steps. For example, Noise levels that force workers to shout to communicate might indicate a need for hearing protection. Similarly, repetitive tasks that strain muscles can lead to long-term injuries if not addressed. Step five is incident investigations. Every incident, whether it's an injury, a near miss, or even a concern raised by a worker, is an opportunity to learn and improve. Investigating these events goes beyond pointing fingers. It's about digging into the root causes. Why did the incident happen? Was equipment outdated or improperly maintained? Was training inadequate? Was the environment itself unsafe? Answering these questions reveals the gaps in safety programs, providing the blueprint to prevent similar incidents in the future. For example, if a worker trips over a loose cable, the investigation might uncover larger issues like poor housekeeping or a lack of clear walkways. Fixing the root problem ensures that it doesn't happen again. Step six is preparing for the unexpected. Emergencies and non-routine tasks bring their own set of risks. Fires, chemical spills, severe weather, or even maintenance activities all demand extra precautions. Anticipating these scenarios and planning ahead can save lives. This means developing detailed procedures for foreseeable emergencies, 
training workers on proper responses, and ensuring necessary resources are on hand. Whether it's protective gear for chemical spills or clear evacuation routes for a fire, preparation is non-negotiable. Step 7 is prioritizing and addressing hazards. Once hazards are identified, the next step is prioritizing them based on severity and likelihood. Immediate dangers like a broken railing or exposed wiring should be fixed on the spot. Addressing these issues not only reduces risks, but also reinforces a culture of safety among workers. For more complex hazards, interim controls can minimize risks while permanent solutions are developed. For instance, a noisy machine might require hearing protection initially, but replacing or isolating the equipment would be the long-term fix. The thing is, safety doesn't happen by chance. It's built through constant vigilance, collaboration, and commitment. Every inspection, every investigation, and every corrective action plays a role in protecting lives. Workplace hazards are inevitable, but the risks they pose are manageable. Following best practices for hazard identification and risk assessment, organizations create environments where everyone can thrive safely. To learn how you can reduce incidents and make your job site safer with consistent digital toolbox talks, click the link below to request a demo today. Keep your workplace proactive, prepared, and safe, because no job is worth compromising on safety.